Hi! In this video, I'm going to be going over two sub-levels of the famous Backrooms Level 7. Level 7 itself is well known in the community for its thalassophobic properties, its infinitely expanding horizons, and some weird things that lurk in its depths. So as expected, it is going to have some strange and unique sub-levels inside of it. And that is what I'm going over today. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Level 7.1 is first for today, and it's also known as Submechanophobia. It is classified as a Class 4E environmental difficulty, and is unsafe, unsecure, and not safe at all. The name Submechanophobia means the fear of man-made objects that are submerged underwater, if you didn't know. Level 7.1 takes the appearance of a dark section of ocean that sprawls out for miles. The water here is notably more salty and has many more objects floating inside of it than the regular parts of level 7. People can tell it's saltier here because everything floats easier due to the salt content. The water itself is not too rough, there's not that many waves, it's actually very still and calm. And beneath these murky, calm waters of the level, there are tons and tons of man-made objects. Shipwrecks, submarine wrecks, weird statues and strange buildings, all of that right underwater. While treading water, you can actually look down below you and see these dark, ominous outlines of those objects below the surface. And this will give every wanderer who comes to the sublevel huge submechanophobia feelings, and it'll fill them up with genuine horror of what's beneath. Your throat will tighten up, you'll just start to panic, and you'll start thrashing around in the water, and once you see those dark objects, you'll begin to hyperventilate and get really, at your core, just freaked out. It is imperative that you just relax and stay calm if you want to survive this level, so don't give in to the fear. The things under the water are subject to deteriorating and collapsing very fast. They seem to do that at a much faster rate than in normal water because of the salt content here, and this leads to things constantly falling down to the seafloor below. Now the water actually isn't that deep in this section. It'll max out at like 30 or 40 feet deep, but since it's darker, you really can't see the bottom, so it gives it a way deeper feeling. This sublevel is actually home to many fish, and level 7's main part seems to not have any fish besides a few level exclusive ones, but this sublevel is teeming with them. They're always dashing through the wreckage and brushing up against your feet, which in and of itself is kind of scary and makes the thalassophobia worse, but the fish seem to eat the seaweed that grows at the bottom of the ocean floor. It's unsure how these shipwrecks and other underwater things even got here, to be honest, or if they're even from real life. But we do know that they're here, and we know that it's creepy to see. If you already had some mechanophobia before coming to the sublevel, it'll be even worse for you when you're here. So good luck with all that. As far as entities go in 7.1, some hounds and some clumps have been seen swimming around in the waters, which sounds kind of funny. I would love to see a clump try to swim. That would be funny. Anyway, others have claimed to see smilers below the water lurking and glowing inside of shipwrecks, so I guess they don't have to breathe, which is pretty cool. To enter the sublevel, you need to swim out deep into level 7 until you feel something touch your foot underwater. It'll be like a wrecked ship or a submarine, and once you do that, you'll notice that all your surroundings have turned dark, and the sea has calmed down, and you're in these submechanophobia waters. To exit, you can find an underwater tunnel that will lead you to level 8. Now you might think that it could not possibly get worse than an anxiety-inducing expanse of water that fills you with horrifying thoughts of submechanophobia, but you'd be wrong because it's about to get worse right now. The Hadal Zone is next, and this is a very interesting sublevel. It is classified as a class unalive zone and is extremely, extremely dangerous due to its environment being just uninhabitable and lifeless. Now this is very disturbing, so if viewer discretion is advised, if you get squeamish over descriptions of unaliving, you might not want to watch. You have been warned. Don't say I didn't warn you. This sublevel is accessed by swimming under the water on the regular part of level 7 and finding a massive, deep chasm hole just there. You can't see the bottom, it's just 
pitch black darkness that you're staring into, and swimming into that hole will take you to the Hadal Zone. Let me just read the paragraph from this level page to really show how bad it is in all of its context. It's only a few paragraphs, so listen up. A deep dive into level 7's vast ocean will reveal that there is no floor. It is a sea with infinite depth, a bottomless pitfall. If one fails to keep themselves afloat, they will likely sink forever into the abyss, rotting under the salt water, and never to be found again. Any cries for help are muffled by the sheer volume of water, and any frantic splashes will be seen as part of Level 7's natural tide patterns. There are no lifeguards to save you, and no fish to keep you company. All you have is the light above, and the darkness below. However, when that light disappears, all that remains is darkness. Despite the abundance of water and the lack of oxygen, suffocation never seems to kill anyone here. There will be excruciating pain in your lungs that will grow more intense the longer you hold your breath, but this will subside eventually after your body grows accustomed to the environment, usually after 20 minutes. It is recommended to hold your breath at all times, even if you feel like you must breathe. The pain will become more unbearable should the caustic salt water enter your system. Take solace in the fact that the water cannot kill you. Down here, it's either sink or swim. Floating, eroded bones litter the ocean. Most are seemingly from human skeletons, but some of them possess unusual properties that have never been seen in any living being. As one sinks deeper into the chasm, these unidentifiable bones grow in number and size. Some individual bones have more mass than the entire skeleton of a whale. Colliding into one of these massive structures is almost a guaranteed way to inflict major trauma on your body, possibly rendering you unconscious several kilometers under the surface. Structures of jagged, sharp rock can be seen as one descends, protruding upwards like the hands bursting from the earth. The surfaces of these rocks are extremely rough, enough to scrape human skin with even the slightest amount of friction, though the water occasionally manages to wash the off the structures. Remnants of flesh can still be seen, stuck to the piercing edges. These are trophies, meant to remind people of the rock's victims. Nobody floats. The tremors of the ocean floor grow more violent by the second. The increasing water pressure transforms small headaches into excruciating ordeals. It is common for individuals to feel like they are suffocating, crushed under the weight of what feels like a hundred boulders. The salt feels like sharp blades cutting into their eyeballs. The lack of air feels like a match being lit inside their lungs. In the darkness below, there is no seeing. There is only feeling. Dread and helplessness are present, of course, but most importantly, there is pain and suffering. You are nothing but a mere speck of dust in the Titanic Sea, a parasite disrupting the natural order of the environment. Do not be surprised if your surroundings try to exterminate you. Just pray that you make it out in one piece. Never come here again. So, uh, yeah. Essentially, this level is an extremely low, excruciating fall into a dark chasm in level 7 where you slowly become more and more deconstructed and crushed by the pressure. It's not an instant unaliving. Somehow the level keeps you alive. Even if you can't hold your breath for that long, it'll still force you to stay alive until you sink deeper and deeper and deeper until you're never seen again. And that is why you should never ever swim under the water in level seven because you don't want to get sucked into the Hadal zone. And there's no exit either. If I didn't make that clear, you're never escaping if you go in. So be warned. So those are two sub levels of level seven, both scary, but I feel like the last one, the Hadal Zone, was much worse. Hope you enjoyed it, though. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I always love a good sub-level, and I always love one that just makes something more horrifying than it was before. Like, level 7 was already scary, but the Hadal Zone just makes it even more terrifying. Just grabbed from the depths, be to be pulled under slowly for eternity, barely being kept alive, but squished and crushed by the pressure, rubbed up against bones and rocks as you go deeper. It's a horrifying sight. Let me know if you could survive it. Leave a like if you could. With all that said, tell somebody you love them, because life's too short not to. And without further ado, I'll see you all in the next video.